Hello, my darling. Hello and welcome to this energy update for the upcoming Capricorn super new moon in December 2022. I'm Nancy. Welcome to Shamanic Heart Space. Welcome to Patreons, regular listeners and first time listeners. You're all welcome here. Now, if it's your first time listening, Uh, Just to let you know, I'm not an astrologer. I wish I was. I'm hoping that I'm going to find the time to learn about astrology, but it's just worth letting you know that I am actually a channeler and a shamanic medicine practitioner. But I'm here on the podcast. I receive information for the collective for each new and full moon, and then I share it on here to hopefully help make things as easy as possible because so much is shifting, moving, changing all the time. So much is going on collectively. And so many people are going through quite a journey at the moment. So um, yeah, there's a big long backstory to how this podcast created itself. You can go back and listen about that some other time. But um, yeah, the idea is just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We're just all on our own unique journey. And please feel free to create your own sacred space for yourself while you're listening to this. Maybe you're out and about on a walk, but feel free to, you know, create a sacred space to listen if that feels right to you. And to be open to receiving your own intuitive or downloaded messages as I open up this channel to receive this information I share with you. A lot of people's gifts are waking up at the moment and uh, a lot of people are finding those activations happening whilst working with me or listening to stuff and along with other people too you know not not just me nothing special about me um yeah so in a moment I'm going to open the channel you might hear my voice change probably will hear me yawning my one of my channeling symptoms uh yeah so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it helpful And just before I open that channel, just to let you know, I am going to be hosting a shamanic journey to accompany this new moon to help prepare for 2023. It's going to be a big year. They've already started um, giving me the downloads, so to speak. So that's going to be December the 23rd. Oh, I feel the channel coming in now. December the 23rd, 7.30 p.m. UK time. All the links to everything I'm doing and how you can work with me personally will be in the show notes. Okay, so I'm starting to feel the channel now, so you might want to take a few deep breaths as well, just to ground yourself. Breathing in for five and out for seven. In for five out for seven it can be helpful to visualize your own roots connecting in with the earth oh strong energy <clears throat> okay so the first thing i'm seeing i'm clear i'm all the clairs but um i get a lot of visuals especially at the moment okay so feeling seeing the Capricorn solstice, so that'll be happening the 21st of December, it's going to be a really important date for all of us, I'm going to come back to that in a moment, because obviously I want to just ask them to give me information about this new moon first of all, all right, so ah, the last new moon, it's a super moon, can you believe that we're here, I remember channeling for 2022 at the end of 2021, and thinking, wow, it's going to be a big year, and it has been, but wow, it's gone so fast, I can't believe we're here and I'm doing this. Okay, so yes, this is the second Capricorn new moon of the year, the last one was in January, we're kind of catching our own tail, Um, it's certainly been feeling like that for me, just this cycle of things just moving very quickly. (sighs) So I take this as a second chance, a second fresh start, I should say. Uh, And yeah, fresh start ahead of the calendar year for 2023, which is going to be big, by the way. So we're getting another chance (laughs) and we're getting um, a chance ahead of the game to get 
clear for what we want to bring in next year. Okay, so, oh, <clears throat> right, some pretty serious vibes coming through. And they're showing me a zodiac wheel. Mm. It looks like this moon is covering two houses. So we have 12 houses uh, in our zodiac wheel. Um, yeah, but I'm not an astrologer, okay? Um, so if you want to cast your birth chart, I'll put a link in the show notes and this can be helpful perhaps going forward. You can get be more specific uh, with your moon guidance, especially if you're going to be working with me. They just give me the information directly, but it can help you to kind of be the architect of your own, yeah, destiny. Uh, okay. I always say I don't know what day it is, but I follow the moon <laughs> to know how to organize my life. So on that, um, yeah, keeping on track with the moon consciously, consistently, this is going to be important so that we don't get caught up in the speed, the change, changes that are coming. So we can use the natural cycles, of the moon energy and nature to our own advantage, really. Okay, so now I'm seeing Capricorn. Happy birthday, Capricorns. I really love Capricorn energy. So I'm expecting a lot of good stuff to come through uh, for the, the ceremony I'm going to be putting on that I mentioned up at the top. All right, so first of all, we're getting some questions coming through. What do you want to achieve? So you could use these as journaling prompts or some things to think about going forward. What is it that you want to achieve? <laughs> Moving into next year, Capricorn is very practical, very grounded, energy available to support you in um, achieving very earthly things. The spiritual work has really been taking place over the last couple of years. And our work now is uh, embodying that here on earth. Okay, so that first question, what do you want to achieve? Second question, what are you working for? What are you working for, like towards a different, a different, I've just quickly shot out telepathic. Hang on, what do you mean achieve and towards? It's the same thing, but they're saying it's not the same thing. And what do you want? Okay, so they're very specific questions um, that don't mean the same thing. So what do you want to achieve? What are you working towards? And what do you want? Are those things in alignment? Because, okay, okay, hang on, slide down. Okay, so yes, we're beginning a new cycle. That's coming in, especially with the solstice. So we've really got energy behind us to support us with getting things in order. So this time towards the end of this year, we can use that as a marker to look at where your energy is going, how you are using your power. Are you using your power? Are you in your integrity? Are you um, self-respecting? Do you respect yourself? Does that come through in everything that you do? The saying about posture, in everything that you do, power, integrity, self-respect. It's time to really step into authority. So hang on, I'm just reading this scene. Okay, so it's like there's an initiation energy around. So we have to, yeah, step into that in order to have these new beginnings that are on offer potentially for all of us, um, potentially collectively, but um, actually being shown individually as, as more people step into their power, into their authority with love, with compassion, with understanding, <clears throat> things will be brighter, will be lighter. So we've got to really get into mastering our physical reality. This is about 
what we are committed to, what we no longer want to be committed to, where we need to show up, equally where where we're showing up, where it's maybe not good for us. Hmm. How we're handling our emotions, our business finances, and just trying to interpret the, the image here. It's a lot about work in this. Well, of course, work can mean many different things. But, uh, yeah, really mm, being targeted with how we talk to ourselves, how we talk to other people, where we're spending our energy. And we, there are still things that many of us need to leave behind in this year and the the end of December is a really good marker for doing that because we're going to begin a new cycle on the solstice, which is going to be the 21st. And then we've got the energy of that second Capricorn new moon this year. So a real turbo boost for that. And we're starting this cycle that's going to take us through to the equinox in the following March. So you can be gentle with yourself. They're kind of showing me like a scar tissue. There's still things healing. And this is part of becoming stronger. So you can't rush your process, but you can be aware of it. You can be aware of it. Feel your feelings. There's a lot of anxiety around, a lot of triggering going on. Um, a lot of, yeah, people being reactive and we just have to try to stay comfortably, securely grounded in ourselves. Essentially playing to the strengths of Capricorn, that Capricorn energy. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm feeling this in the throat very much. So, yeah, speaking up, taking care of your health. So right now, a lot of people could be feeling quite weary, tired, overburdened, overwhelmed. So these, these are all opportunities for you to have a look at what we mentioned before. Uh, do you need to address certain boundaries? What changes need to be made? Do you need to have more sleep? Do you need to change your diet? Do you need to cut out some people? Do you need to spend more time with other people? La -di -da, -di da okay. Okay, they're giving me a question now. This is very authoritative energy. If your physical reality isn't where you want it to be, time to work on that. We're gonna, it's a good idea to use this energy to plan more long term in the practical ways, in the real world ways. So this thing that I'm doing, where is that headed? Is that really going to lead to the place I want it to lead in? Incidentally, something that you can do um, with this energy is use it to make moon water. Uh, it might freeze <laughs> if you're in the UK at the moment. but um, And then you can make your perfumes, your sprays, clean your house with, with that moon water, which will be infused with that Capricorn energy. If you're somebody who struggles with decision making or being grounded or being practical and being here on planet Earth, um, this would be a really good time to make that moon water. If you can, leave it outside. So all you need to do is collect a body of um, water that's not from the tap, preferably, depends where you live, um, you know, from a natural source would be amazing. You can even infuse it with flowers and things from your from your area uh, near where you live. Leave it out for 24 hours under any moon to absorb the energy and the positives uh, of um, that sign and then you can use it for doing various things uh so yeah that might be good they wanted me to tell you that so where were we let me just tune back in okay so there's energy available for a lot of unexpected strength to eliminate what's not working for you people are not good for you i feel like that's getting a bit repetitive now we've said that a few times even though this is a different energy coming through now 
so it's really important to um, get clear if you're the type of person to write things down, write, write them down. Um, yeah, like a to-do list, a show me a to-do list. Even being ruthless, getting people out of your life, they're actually giving me the word cull here. Clear people's numbers, contacts off your phone, delete old messages that, you know, they're just cluttering up your phone. Clear out your social media, get rid of a few followers if you dare. Even get rid of your entire social media. <laughs> uh, get rid of photos, uh, delete old emails, like really, yeah, like a spring clean, except it's this time of year. Well, it depends where you're in the world, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, getting a change in. Oh. All right, so be discerning with your energy. Um, it feels like a lot of people are feeling discombobulated. And so now the energy, this Capricorn energy, amongst other energies, is coming to help us realign. So maybe you're feeling this too, just a little bit scattered, a little bit drained, a little bit like uh, out of, I'm out of control. My time is not my own. My energy is not my own for whatever reason. And try to use this time, if you can, to just drop any dead weight, to get your boundaries back in, to just restore yourself. Okay, so they're telling me it's really important to be in alignment in your body for 2023. Take responsibility for all of it. Have those conversations, even with the people who don't want to listen. <laughs> for me, that says ding, 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 ding. Yes, I need to have a couple of those conversations. Thank you. <laughs> Own it. This is really important. Okay. It's like I'm talking to Capricorn himself. <laughs> um, you need your investments to pay off, is, is what this uh, sea goat is saying to me. You need your investments to pay off. Don't invest in things that are not going to pay off. And that's actually very reasonable, I think. Um, so get your house in order. Yeah, okay. So I'm just saying the same thing in a different way, maybe. Okay, very good. Hang on. <sighs> Oh, the energy is changing. <clears throat> yeah, so what do you need to do to play to your own strengths and to also, yeah, play to the strengths of Capricorn? All right, so you can also look out or be aware that people may come into your life who have literally come to guide you like mental figures may physically appear in your life and maybe just for a short time um, or maybe people you already knew who take on kind of like a mental role for a short period of time please let them help you this is divine intervention mm, how interesting okay so mm, where you may have noticed we're attracting things very quickly at the moment um not necessarily what you want, but what you need. And it, maybe if you are asking, those things are being attracted to you as well. So this could be showing up as, um, yeah, a physical other person to teach you something or help you play to your strengths or, you know, help you sort something out so you can flow more easily in the direction that you want to be flowing in or need to be flowing in. So, uh, so some people, yeah, allow yourself to be students to, to be mentor. Don't be too proud. Don't be too egotistical. We all have stuff to learn. <laughs> ah, and equally, you could be showing up for someone else. Um, this isn't about being pushy, but just offering, hey, I know how to do that thing. I'm good with accounts or whatever it is. Um, can be really useful uh, just to remember that uh, yeah we're all students we're all teachers you know <sighs> okay so I'm getting the sense that a lot of people feel very unsteady right now so please take some time to study yourself it has been a really big year we want to go into the next cycle stable grounded clear yeah
Yeah, so the new moon and the Capricorn solstice ceremony that is going to be happening on Patreon for members is going to help with this cleaning and clearing. Come over, see what we're all about over there. We really need to get things done, ticked off the list, a way to get on track. It's showing me March again for the next equinox. So we're going to have to enjoy this journey, obviously, between now and March. Um, but you can achieve a lot. You can achieve a lot in this time uh, by playing two of strengths. Gosh, this energy is so focused. Such focused energy on this. So, um, so clear. So it's important that we do enough work to be on time with the wheel of the year and the moon cycles and all the rest of the natural cycles. As I said at the beginning, being in in flow with that is more important than the the schedules and the conditioning that have been imposed on us. Okay, so you can expect to be looking back as we close out the year. It's quite normal for the end of the year. It's quite normal. Oh, am I using that word normal? Um, it's not unusual <laughs> to do that as we come to the end of something. I'm going to have Mercury going retrograde, they tell me. I need to check that out myself. Wow. Mercury in retrograde is so amazing for taking some time to take some stock. But it really affects my uh, technology. I tend to, like, blow things up anyway. <laughs> and things stop working when I touch them and whatever. But with Mercury retrograde, wow, I have amazing issues with technology so i'm gonna have to check out uh when that mercury retrograde is and let you know but this is a great uh energy that's going to come in to give us a chance to look back anything that needs to clear anything that you can celebrate and a chance to just chill out and rest okay <clears throat> okay so fire fire energy I know this because they're showing me the combo frog. Okay, so if you're feeling like your fire has gone out, <laughs> do what you need to do to get that fire going again. We need that fire to, to start something new, but also to finish certain things. Giving us the power to have autonomy, to decondition and... <sighs> set ourselves on a new path to be strong and to live in what actually really matters okay so a lot more people are going to be discerning in that energy going forward going into next year what really matters the stuff that we're told to care about a lot of it doesn't matter it's not even about planning and baby steps it's just moving forward towards what is calling you and knowing that anything is possible this is really it's not quite warrior energy but it's just fire energy moving forward energy it's very grounded very strong and yeah there's a kind of sense of growing upness all right, so on the horizon then, um, a lot of opportunity to feel like a turning point after a very slow healing process or a slow healing journey, potentially. So just be gentle with yourself through this. Don't beat yourself up for not being over the thing or some of the old patterns still coming up. But there is a turning point Maybe if you've yeah, felt that kind of dragging your feet or why is this still hanging over me? Okay, it's okay. It takes as long as it takes. So take your time. Uh, we're coming to new, deeper levels of understanding the self and understanding, again, what they're saying to me is what really matters. They're showing me we are writing new chapters that will become history. And for, for many of us, we are being held in a healing process. So just be held, sit in it. If you need to cry it out, do what you've got to do. Make space for the new insights and creativity. Don't put yourself under pressure to feel a certain way because 
maybe it's party season where you were or whatever. Maybe you don't have the money or the time or the energy or the health or whatever or the inclination to be doing what is expected of you right now. But you can just put all that aside for now. Focus on you. Focus on getting clear for next year, for this next three months. Cool. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this episode. <clears throat> just seeing if there's anything more. I decided just to release the whole episode um, for free because I just felt like that was the right thing to do. There's plenty for you to listen to on uh, Patreon if you want to come over. And as I said, there's going to be stuff for... Uh, solstice, exciting solstice coming up. It's a big time. Um, well, in the ancient traditions of the Andes, the Peruvian um, shamanic practices of Coranderismo. Okay. Yeah, so that's it for this uh, Capricorn Super New Moon episode. Uh, as I said at the top, be a special Capricorn shamanic journey. Uh, and an extra solstice episode, both available to Patreon. So if you'd like to come and join us over there, I'd be delighted to have you. Thank you so much for listening and making this podcast <laughs> such a success throughout 2022. I'm so grateful and I really appreciate all of you listening, all of your participation and love and all those five-star reviews and shares. It's really been amazing. It's really been amazing. So thank you to all of the Patreons, uh, without whom none of this would be possible at all. So have the most fantastic end to 2022 on a very special solstice, whether I see you or not. And I hope to see you with a new series in January 2023. In the meantime, you can come over, say hi on Instagram, come out to Peru if you want. We've got dietas happening next year if you want to work with ayahuasca. I'm also in London in January. If you want to uh, come to a ceremony with Cambo, Cacao, Bob Insana, Blue Lotus, or Shamanic Healing, I could do one to ones, I can do group work. All links in the show notes. It'd be amazing to see you. Um, yeah, and if you like this episode, please be sure to hit follow and the notification bell because I'm not very good at sending out emails <laughs> as reminders. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm sending you so much love and have a very, very happy Capricorn new moon and solstice. You're wonderful and embrace your light and your power. See you soon.